Hi there, gastric balloon friends. It's me, Lindsay. Hi there. So, um, I'm hiding at a gas station um, because we have reached the Lord of the Flies portion of summer vacation. And um, my house is... Oh, it's a, it's a little wild in there. So I, I thought, oh gosh, yeah, I have to go get gas, you know, because I don't want to get it early in the morning when I go to bar. Yeah. Right. So I just, I had to get out and I figured while I was here, I, I do a video in the, uh, in the magical minivan here. So I wanted to do a video about who should not be getting a gastric balloon. You know, I do get a lot of comments and, and things like that from people, you know, wondering if a gastric balloon is for them. And it is for a lot of people, but you know, there are some folks that it's not for you. So, um, there are four, there are the four people that I will identify. The first person who should not, not be getting a gastric balloon is somebody who thinks that, um, by getting a gastric balloon, that it is going to be easy so that um, having it will will sort of be the easy way out and that you won't have to do the work. So unfortunately, it's not easy. You know, there's, there's nothing easy about changing um, and undoing a lifetime of possible bad habits. And um, so yeah, if you're not willing to really take yourself all the way down to the studs and build yourself or, you know, back up the way you, you know, you want, then... I wouldn't recommend it. So, so yeah, it's not easy. So sorry. If, if you think it's going to be a cakewalk, nope. <laughs> so, okay. So that's, so that's number one. So the second person is somebody who, you know, is, is looking to lose, you know, like 10 or 15, like pesky, pesky vanity pounds. Like, you know, um, you know, those, those last 15, you know, baby weight kinds of uh, things, you know, or, you know, you know, just a smaller amount of weight of your percentage. So, you know, it's more for people who need to lose, you know, 30, 40, 50 plus pounds. Um, that was me. Um, I lost 50 pounds, um, over the course of my five and a half months with a gastric balloon or five months with a gastric balloon and, you know, kept it off for over a year at this point. So that's plus. <laughs> um, so yeah, if it's, you know, if it's not a more significant amount of weight, you know, 10% or more of, of your, of, of your total body mass, then, then it's, it's not for you. So it's, it's too much. So, so that's, that's number two, number three. So, um, so the person who maybe should, should look elsewhere is somebody who's like not a long time dieter. I, I don't want to say somebody who has a track record of failure, but yeah. So, I mean, unless you've tried other more traditional things, I mean, I personally. Sorry about that. I had a princess emergency. So yeah. Um, anytime like my phone either rings or I get a text message, um, the, the video drops out. I don't know how like other people do YouTube videos, but obviously I do mine on my phone. You can tell from this quality video here. So <laughs> anyway, so where were we? We were, okay. So people that are not seasoned dieters. So I was just saying that I've tried everything, literally every single diet ever, like keto and Weight Watchers and, um, Noom and Atkins, you name it. I've done it. I've done them all. If you have a question, like send it to me because I've tried it. I used to dream about fruit and bread when I, when I was doing Atkins, which was kind of funny, but whatever. Anyway, so, so yeah, I would, I would try some more traditional stuff before, you know, pulling the trigger, you know, you, you don't want to, it's an investment. You don't want to, you know, flush a couple grand on the toilet. You know, it's just, you know, if you could do low fat or low calorie or like, uh, intermittent fast. Oh, look, the lights are coming on intermittent fasting or something like that. Then, you know, try that first. And, um, if you suck at other diets, like I sucked at other diets, then, then try, you know, ramp it up to that gastric balloon. So, um, and then the, the last thing, because I just said, you know, it is a, it is a significant financial investment. Gastric balloon ain't cheap and it shouldn't be cheap. So I'm just going to say this out. 
you don't want to cheap out on a gastric balloon. So if you're kind of looking to, you know, cut a corner, you don't want to do it here. So you don't, what the heck? You don't want like discount surgery because it is surgery. You don't want to do that. So you want to find a, um, a gastroenterologist, somebody who is certified as a medical professional who is going to administer this medical device to you because yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to cheap out on this one. So, so anyway, those are the four people I have hair in my eye. It's driving me crazy anymore. I just wear fake eyelashes all the time because, um, I can put on fake eyelashes now faster than mascara. So, um, anyway, so, so yeah, those are the four people that shouldn't be getting a gastric balloon. Try something else, uh, before you, you go whole hog and, and do the gastric balloon. So anyway, so I now have gas and <laughs> I now have gasoline in my car. So I should probably go home. <sighs> Gird my loins and go back to all the men in my house. Anyway. I hope everybody's doing great. If you would be so kind as to maybe subscribe to my channel, like a video, and send me a comment. That would be fantastic. Anyway, so hope everybody is doing great and enjoying their summer. And I'm sure I will talk to you all shortly. Okay, bye.